So over the past six months, I've really fallen in love with Gion Wet Coat. But is their application method of spray on, rinse off really the best way to go? Today, I'm going to look at four different methods of applying Gion Wet Coat and see if they're any better, worse or indifferent. But first, we need to get the car clean. And to do this, I'm going to be using mainly Gary's Therapy range. But I'm going to kick the wash off with a citrus pre-wash. I'm then going to use Garage Therapy Zero Decon through the snow foam lance. I'm also going to use the Garage Therapy Zero Decon as a shampoo. As you can see, I'm running low on this product, I really like it. So let's go and do it. So a few videos ago, you may remember when we last washed the X1, we used the Gion Bathe Plus shampoo. Going to give the car a quick rinse over and we're going to see how the, the Bath Plus has held out over the last four to five weeks I think it was, see if it's lived up to expectations. So in terms of the, the Bath Plus, really impressive that it's still beading up very well and repelling the water very well. As you'll notice from rinsing there on the lower half of the door where most of the kind of traffic filling builds up, there's, there's no water behaviour left at all, there's no sheeting, but the panel is very dirty. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the whole car a rinse, we'll citrus pre-wash it, rinse it off before we hit it with the, the GT Zero Decon and we'll see if it brings back any of that water behaviour. I'll give that a few minutes, let it do its thing, we'll give it a rinse off and see if it brings back anything. And then that'll give us a kind of true reflection of just how well the Gion Bath Plus can protect against your everyday traffic fill and build up. Um, bearing in mind that this is maybe washed maybe four or five weeks ago and this will give you a kind of real time durability test essentially. Right, so I like to think that by now on this channel that I've made it pretty obvious that I don't like gloss enhancing shampoos. But one thing I will say is that Gion Bath Plus is on a total different level to anything else that I've tried. The only places where it's really lost anything is in the lower halves of the doors that get the most abuse from your everyday road traffic. The rest of the car is still beating up phenomenally well. So let's go and strip it all off now. So then, to strip this, what we're going to use is Garage Therapy Zero Decon in the snow foam lance at a 10 to 1 dilution rate. Following on from that, we're going to use it in the wash bucket as a shampoo. So what you'll notice when we come to rinse off is that all of the protection's not completely gone. It's not going to wipe everything out in the one go, but it's made a pretty good dent on it. This did require two hits to really degrade the protection. Alright, so predominantly Gion Wet Coat is not for use on dry panels. It's a spray-on rinse off product. And the way that Gion say that you should use it is that you should spray it on and rinse it off immediately 
one panel at a time. We're not going to do that today. What we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is use four different application methods. We are going to put it on a dry panel using an applicator and then buff it off. I'm then going to wet a panel, spread it and rinse it off. I'm then going to do the traditional spray and rinse and I'm then going to do, the final one that I'm going to do is wet the panel, spread it and then rinse it. Then we'll have a quick comparison and see if any of them look different to one another and just how much product are we going to use during each of them. Method one, going on dry. So this is going to be a totally dry application. The door has been fully dried. It's a completely dry microfiber application pad. And all that I'm going to do is put two or three sprays onto the application pad and spread it across the door. What I'm finding here was that by the time I got halfway down the door, it was feeling really grabby and really draggy. Probably one of the reasons why Gion say that this is a wet application product. However, on buffing it off, it did feel really slick to the touch and you'll see the results a little later on. Method 2. Now, in method 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood the panel. I'm going to apply the wet coat to the microfiber applicator and then I'm going to rub it over the wet panel. I've got them down in an across hatch method and to remove it, all I'm going to do is rinse the panel with water. Similar to how Gion say that you should apply it, however, taking away the spray directly onto the panel and of course we're adding in the wiping over the panel. Okay, now we're on to method three. Now, method three is similar to method two where I'm wetting the panel first. I'm then going with the traditional method that Gion say that you should use by spraying it onto the panel. And I'm then taking a clean microfiber applicator sponge and just rubbing it um, up and down the panel and across side to side in the cross hatch method. And again, for removal, I will just blast it off with the jet wash. Now then, on to method four, and this is essentially the traditional way that Gion tell you to use the product, by applying it to a wet panel and immediately rinsing off. One thing to note on this is that the water behaviour isn't immediately as good as other panels, and down at the bottom of the door there, there's a noticeable difference. So I'm going to have to go back in for a second hit with this method. Now, one thing that a few EOI viewers will pick up on is that there's a lot of wasted product just getting blown away in the wind there, which could have contributed to that uh, poor initial performance. But again, is that a downfall of the method that Gion are advising you to use? So let's take a look at the water behaviour now on each panel. And on the dry panel, I would say, looking quite uniform. Decent water behavior, water's repelling off the panel really quite well. Method two, similar, I would say, potentially a bit more uniform and definitely getting off that panel really, really quickly. Method three, I would say that the water behaviour is not quite as uniform on method three. That could potentially be because you know you're picking up an awful lot of water whilst picking up the product and, and applying it across the panel. And finally, method four, which after two hits is probably on a par with the water behaviour of method three. John Wetcoat, as you know from the start of the video. I'm already a big fan of this product, I really like it for doing a quick maintenance wash and topping up your protection. I think it's absolutely spot on. The application process that, um, that most people say to use or that Gior advertises a spray on, rinse off, 
I don't think is the best application process for this. For me, wetting the panel, spraying it on a microfiber and spreading it across, then rinsing it off, seemed to get better results in that little comparison test that I'd done there. As you would have seen on the spray on rinse off section, I had to give it two doses. And when you're giving it two doses, you're using more product, which means you're going through more product, which means it's not lasting as long. So for me, a couple of sprays on a microfiber applicator pad, wet the panel, apply it, and then rinse it off. Definitely, for me, got the best results. And over the last few months where I've been testing out the different application processes, that's in keeping with what I've found recently as well. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, mainly on Geo and Wet Coat. Like I say, I think it's a great product. I really like spray on, rinse off stuff, especially if you're in a hurry. So, go and I'll leave a link in the description uh, for where you can pick some of that up. And I'll leave links in the description for all the other products that I've used today. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.